Good morning. Will you please stand for the Pledge of Allegiance? I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. I am Julie Landis. I am an assistant principal here, and I'm also the director of career and tech ed. So the students you see are some of our <coughs> best and brightest. And I know pretty much all of them personally, and they're really great students. So if they belong to you, I applaud you. So I'd like to welcome you to Hampshire High School's National Technical Honor Society's induction ceremony. This morning, we recognize the accomplishments of an outstanding group of students with one of the highest honors in career and technical education, induction into the National Technical Honor Society. Since 1984, over one million members have been recognized for the same effort and aptitude that our students this morning have shown in their chosen area of career and technical education. From celebrating the excellence shown in developing their skills to offering nearly $300,000 in scholarships each year, the National Technical Honor Society believes in empowering each of our students in their journey to develop their skills that they will need to build a career that they will love. This morning, we invite you all to join us in celebrating these students and supporting the time-honored purposes of the National Technical Honor Society. The purpose of National Technical Honor Society are to reward excellence in workforce education, to develop self-esteem, pride, and encourage students to reach for the highest level of achievement, to promote business and industry critical workplace values, honesty, responsibility, initiative, teamwork, productivity, leadership, and citizenship, to help schools build and maintain effective partnership with local businesses and industries to champion a stronger and more positive image for workforce education in America. The colors of National Technical Honor Society are silver, white, and purple. Silver represents value and worth, white represents truth and honesty, and purple represents achievement and honor. The official emblem of the organization is made up of a shield crossed by a scroll bearing the letters NTHS. Above the shield is the head of an American bald eagle with a wreath of seven stars circling the eagle's head. The shield represents the individual member. The line running through the shield represents a straight plumb line fundamental to building a life and career upon a good foundation. The bald eagle's head represents the United States of America and the individual's freedom of career choice. The wreath of the seven stars represents the seven attributes of the NTHS member and the individual NTHS chapter throughout the U.S. The motto of the National Technical Honor Society is success favors the prepared mind. The slogan of the National Technical Honor Society is excellence in America's workforce begins with excellence in workforce education. Now it is at this time, in preparation for our induction and recognition ceremony, that we will light the candles that represent the attributes we adhere to as members of the National Technical Honor Society. In the center of the table is a lighted candle representing knowledge. Knowledge is familiarity, awareness, or understanding gained through experience or study. This candle represents the knowledge you have gained through experience and study in your technical program. first member attribute is skill. Skill is possessing co competency and aptitude in a craft, trade, or job. The second attribute is honesty. Honesty is the quality of being truthful, trustworthy, and genuine in all your interactions, both socially and professionally. The third attribute is service. Service is contributing your time, effort, and skills to help others and your community. The fourth attribute is responsibility. Responsibility is being accountable and upholding commitments to others and yourself. The fifth member attribute is scholarship. Scholarship is a dedication to high level preparation and achievement in your area of study. The sixth attribute is citizenship. Citizenship is supporting, nurturing, and actively participating in communities to which you belong.
The seventh member attribute is leadership. Leadership is the ability to inspire and guide others to work towards achieving a common goal. Fellow members, I hope you recognize these seven attributes in yourself and value these qualities that make you eligible for membership in the National Technical Honor Society. Now it's at this time that we will have a guest speaker, Roy Milson. He's a local farm owner, operator, and co-owner of Milson's Campground. So everybody give it up for Roy Milson. Good morning. All right, so I have a short speech. I'm going to try to keep it under an hour. Um, but anyways, it is truly an honor to speak to such a positive group of young folks this morning. Um, when Mrs. Myers asked me to give this presentation, my first thought was, I really don't think that I'm qualified for that. But since I believe in the CTE program, I decided to put my best foot forward. I graduated from Hampshire High School in 1990. I was actively involved with vocational agriculture. I was president of the Hampshire County FFA my senior year. For me, that program was a positive life experience that helped me, that helped to shape the life that I know today. I didn't care much for school in those days, so I spent most of my junior and senior years at the ag buildings. My teachers were Mr. Bill Roomsburg, Mr. John Seville, Mr. Paul Roomsburg, and Mr. Bill Cheney. My favorite class was Ag Mechanics. In my mind's eye, I can still hear Mr. Seville say, no matter the project that we were working on, fella, I want that thing to look like factory. Looking back, it doesn't seem possible that 33 years have passed. From your perspective, you young people's perspective, I know that it's difficult to imagine yourselves being over 50 years old. My point is this, time will pass. And every day, we are all faced with decisions. Our lives are all molded by the decisions that we make. Looking over today's program, I see 59 names of those who are about to be inducted into the National Technical Honor Society. I also see a lot of words like knowledge, skill, honesty, service, responsibility, scholarship, citizenship, leadership, and excellence. Folks, these are more than just words on a page. The 59 names represent each of you, all with different backgrounds, attitudes, perspectives, and goals. Each of you has made decisions that allow you to be here today. All will have to make an almost infinite number of decisions from this day forward that will shape your lives. If you use the principles of honesty, knowledge, responsibility, citizenship, <laughs> service, leadership, skill, scholarship, and I'm going to add faith, which I think is maybe the most important, to make your decisions and guide your actions, then you will have the highest likelihood of achieving success. And even if you fail at a particular goal, then you will still have achieved excellence because you did your best. Successes are not made with decision making alone. Other things are involved. Remember how I said that I didn't care much for school when I graduated? I have adjusted my perspective over many years of experience. Strive to open your mind to education, whether it's in a formal setting like going to college or on the farm, at a job site, 
in a garage, in an office, in a hospital, or even from friends and family. Be a lifelong learner. Work hard at whatever you choose to do and do it well. When you fail, and we all do from time to time, don't give up, have perseverance. Just adjust your strategy and move forward. In conclusion, everything we say or do is connected, especially in this age of social media. Actions and words have consequences, some good and some bad. Consequences are like the ripples that result from a rock being thrown into a pond. And I'll share a funny story. I think most people will find it funny. After high school, I attended Potomac State College and earned an associate's degree in animal science. Then I returned to the farm to raise beef cows. As such, and I imagine that those of you that know me probably attest to this, I have a tendency to oversimplify and compare everything to my experiences with cows, which, I mean, believe it or not, has been very helpful in many situations. Up until the point that my oldest daughter was born and my wife, Jeannie, was having problems with breastfeeding. I tried to offer some cow-based suggestions. <laughs> they were not well received. And why, why is this relevant? Because Jeannie mentioned it last week again, and Molly is 23 years old now. So be careful what rocks you throw because the ripples can last for a long time. <laughs> so, good luck, and may God bless you all.
Ellie Coleman.
year, Westfall. Gracie Wright. Inductees, you are now members of National Technical Honor Society. Please confirm this by reciting your pledge of membership. Inductees, we are very proud of you and your accomplishments. Please stand and join me in reciting the National Technical Honor Society pledge in unison. As a member of the National Technical Honor Society, I pledge to maintain the highest standard of personal conduct. I will apply myself to continue a record of scholastic achievement, and I will strive for excellence in all aspects of my education. I will invest my talents, skills, and knowledge in a career of my choosing and shall always endeavor to uphold my obligations as a citizen of my community. I now declare you duly inducted as members of the National Technical Honor Society. You may take your seat. A message from Ms. Wire. Dear students, I asked Katie to read this letter to you since I could not be there in person today. First of all, I just want to say congratulations on this achievement. Your hard work and dedication to your CTE courses does not go unnoticed. I think I speak for myself and all your CTE teachers when I say that we are proud of you. I wish you continued success in your studies and your extracurricular activities. For those of you that are seniors, savor this time because the next few months will go very fast. As your journey onto the workforce, college, trade school, or, to, or the military, I hope you will be able to apply the skills and life lessons you have learned in your CTE classes. There are so many individuals at Hampshire High School that care deeply about you and put a great deal of effort into your success and happiness. Acknowledge that, make gratitude a habit. Please remember to express your thanks to Mrs. Myers and Mrs. Landis for their work on the ceremony and to Ms. Coleman for, their use of her, for the use of her space and for the video. I love you all. Be good, do good, and work hard. Ms. Wire. On behalf of Hampshire High School, I would like to congratulate all of you on your hard work and installation into the National Technical Honor Society. This is an honor that you'll be able to carry with you throughout your education and career. Congratulations and welcome to the National Technical Honor Society. Thank you. 